If you're buying a townhome or a condo, you know that big, huge stack of papers that you get from the escrow company that say HOA documents on them or CCNRs or covenants, conditions, and restrictions? All those fancy things. Most people don't read them, and that scares the hell out of me. I'm going to tell you why that scares the hell out of me in one second. All right, so everything that is relevant to you owning an HOA or a condo comes in that big old fat stack of papers that come from escrow, and they're the HOA docs, okay? And they include a lot of things in it, but the main thing that it includes in there is called the Conditions, Covenants, and Restrictions, CCNR, as you probably heard about it. And I'm always surprised that a lot of buyers don't read those documents, and that is the rules of the game. Those are the rules of you owning it, what you need to do, what you can't do. And I'm gonna tell you three to four things today that you need to at least read at a minimum. I recommend reading the entire thing start to finish. There's a lot of legalese in there, so you might wanna you know, consult with an attorney or have somebody help you that has, that's familiar with it. But there are three or four things that you really need to know, and that is one, what are my dues and what's included? And how much can they increase my dues without a vote of the membership? There's certain state laws on that, so you can check with your state law. Is it 5%, is it 20%, is it a regular assessment or a special assessment? etc. Those things you need to be aware of so you know what your exposure is. The second is insurance. What kind of insurance do they cover at the HOA? Do they cover all the fire insurance for your entire structure, which is usually the case? Or do they cover, you know, pieces of the walls and parts of the roof and parts of the floor? And what's excluded? What's included? You need to know that. And that'll be in the CCNRs along with the other stuff that comes in the package like the insurance certificate and all that stuff. Okay, that's the second thing. The third thing to be aware of is can I lease it someday? And a lot of people buy some condos and townhomes for investment purposes and lease them out. And a lot of HOAs over the years have seen a lot of people lease their units out, especially Airbnb and things like that. So they don't like that. So they have provisions in the HOA docs that can stop that. And they have previous votes of membership that they approve. Some say no leasing whatsoever. We have a complex out here by me that says that. Um, there's another ones that put percentages on it, like 50%, 30%. Some say no more than 10 at a time, etc. You want to know what that is in case someday down the road you are going to lease it. All right. And the fourth thing to be aware of, which is also equally important, that is what are you paying for and what are they paying for? There's some complexes that HOA pays for everything, including cable and trash and utilities. Most of the time you pay for all your own utilities, all your own cable data and all that kind of stuff. And usually the HOA covers the structure of the roof and all that stuff, even pest control most times. But sometimes, like on some projects, you cover the roof. You cover the walls that surround the property in the backyard, etc. So you want to be very clear about those. So those are the four things I want you to read for sure and focus on. I always recommend reading the whole thing. I know it's a lot of pages, but this is your investment. This is a lot of money and you wanna know what the rules of the game are and those are the rules. All right, so pay attention to the CCNRs. If you have any questions, shoot them over to me as usual and thanks for watching another episode of the Real Estate Minute Show. Enjoy your day, take care.